Yeah, 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 na, 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 yeah. Certain fire flames, now I'm born again. Times really change, talk truth. We've seen better days, the youth not safe again. What a damn shame, talk truth. I what that them are promote, so quick them selling out, them sold them cashing out. Yeah, well, this is Kemetic 9 representing for I Just Star and the Mindset. If you now move right, get your mind checked. It's long. Wait there. Somebody says something about Jamaican patois and style and fashion. Yes, to us. Me I saw it the other day online and buck up on a new, authentic Jamaican clothing brand. Wagwan are the latest and newest one. In a t-shirt, booty, slippers and woman's bag. And a whole heap of other things I'm not even mention. Search online for more information. Yard slang. Hit them with a bang. Mindset, blessed love, manners, and respect. We have a great day, them, in the divine name of His Imperial Majesty, Emperor Eel Selassie I, the first, and also Empress Menin the first. Marcus I, Wally Emmanuel I, King Selassie I, Ja, Rastafari. Warm welcome beautiful viewers and subscribers. You know, good to have the item here. As the item know, life is our ultimate position. And um, nothing no greater than that, no matter what I go on. Um, today I've got a special guest um, on, the, on the platform. You know, a guest that is... Um, absolutely no stranger to the platform um i guess that uh i i, I look up to you know um uh, an individual that i have a lot of love and respect for um is an individual is an empress from the ethiopian africa black international congress um is an empress of the woman freedom liberation league scene um she is an a uh, legal and professional lawyer and attorney zine and i'm speaking about no other than empress marina i want to welcome her to the platform again blessed love honorable empress majesty my lord blessed love honorable <laughs> great to have the eye here honorable <laughs> I'm the smart, my lord i'm doing very well thanks beautiful beautiful give thanks give thanks to life yes i i know yeah. it's a family everyone is good rastafari yes i all right um straight to the point you know we have we have business to deal with so um let we get get up to business um, it's good to have the eye here, um, a, a foundation empress of the Ethiopian Africa Black um, International Congress uh, out there 10 miles in Jamaica. Um, also, uh, Woman Freedom Lig Liberation League, um, a member for a number of years now. Um, you're, you're, we're reasoning because of um, the back to school um initiative by the woman freedom Li liberation league um talk to me about about that you know and about the whole initiative uh, yes my lord uh, uh, yes the, the back to school initiative is the main point of the um the discussion but let me first say thank you for having me and thank you for that very very kind and gracious um you know introduction Most welcome. all right if that's, most welcome. Lovely. yes so the back to school initiative now so approximately i mean over 18 months ago right after the mysterious disappearance of our beloved priest headley and the the brutal murder of our dearest sister emperor sharon the woman's freedom liberation league addressed the matter by calling the calm in response to some pushback some, some you know grumblings that we were hearing about taking um you know like retaliating against the people who had um 
so violently, you know, uh, violated us, you, you know, in so many ways. And the league, the Women's League, declared unequivocally that the Congress in particular and not the far right generally, we do not um, condone, you know, the killing of black people and we especially do not kill young black men who are already an endangered species, right? right we recognize right. that the system is arrayed against the black man on so many levels, right? So that they, that they are both they are both victim and, and then they as indeed victims they turn, turn around and victimize um their own you know their own people. And so we, we, we saw that, we understand that, we understand the dynamics of the situation that create this, this type of aggression, this type of violence that um, black people weave against each other. And so we, we use these um, two unfortunate incidents as a turning point. That is what we are, we, you know, we are seeking to do, to use these incidents as a turning point to work to repair the obvious broken relationship between the Congress and the community at the foot of Bubble Hill. The League stated that it is the Empresses who will take the lead in this endeavor, right? To bring the two communities together for some healing and some reconciliation. So right. in that connection, the Women's League um, has proposed to sponsor a back-to-school event whereby the Empresses of the League will distribute school supplies of the children from the community at foot of the hill to signal the Congress's fulfillment of its promise, right? Um, to, as I said, to repair the fractured relationship between the um, the Congress and the community. In addition to fulfilling our um, our promise to, um, you know, the naked, clothes, sick, nourished, age protected, and the infants cared for. Mm -hmm. Moreover, we would, we could also use this endeavor dispel the myth that Baba Shanti does not support formal education because that is there's a perception out there about us about Baba Shanti that we do not endorse education we don't promote it and so we want to overcome that perception um you know in addition to the wider objective as I said of um forging a better relationship between the Congress itself at 10 miles will be and the community at the foot of the hill. Now, to that um, to that end, we had um, you know, embarked on a fundraiser, we collected funds, which we now have in our possession, and it's, um, it's lodged in the, um, the, the Women's League of Public in Jamaica. The, the, the original plan was that this back to school initiative would have taken place on Marcus Garvey's uh, you know, birthday, but um, because the time time was so tight, the turnaround was so tight, we, we decided to call it off and to, in order to give ourselves more time to plan, you know, right, and to, you know, to, to do this thing, if we're going to do this launch, we wanted to do it, in a, you know, in a very organized way and in a very effective way. And so we were working on some very tight constraints. And so we decided that we were going to put it off. You know, we were going to delay it until, um, at some other um, the time, we had also started to debate, you know, what was the best way, you know, you know, and, and how we can make the, the biggest impact. And one of the things that we had, um, we're, we're discussing, we're still discussing, is whether or not maybe we should just sponsor one one school, like a basic school, or maybe we can make a contribution of, say, a new blackboard, or we can make a contribution of doing repair to us so that they need some sort of repair. Because, I mean, you know, the money that we are collecting is, is good, but it is, it's not so, <laughs> the, the amount of money is not so great that we can actually, um, you, you know, fund as many children, individual children as we would have liked. So we're thinking that to maximize the money that we have and to get the greatest return on that, we may need to focus on one school, right? And as okay. I said, with a, right, with a black with a blackboard or maybe some repairs or just making donations to the children in that school, right? Or in a particular class. Right. So we are gonna we're still doing more um investigation uh, to see the schools in the area and how best we may approach this. 
we have got, gotten, you know, we have gotten ideas from various people as to how how to proceed, which way to go, and so we are taking them all under advisement to see which is the um which is the best, as I said, and the most efficient way of um addressing this this matter. And can can people still um can people still donate or contribute to to the cause because um they probably might be hearing this a little bit um late after the fact uh, yes yeah mm-hmm. so you know if there's if there's any way uh, you know at some point I would love I'd love for the eye to um you know give out that information so people can uh you know donate if 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 they, they yeah. you know they see um fit or if they you know if they have you know the the, the financial um support to to do so you know yes no um unsurprisingly or it may be surprising to some but there are people who oppose this initiative altogether what people who are saying that any money we collect we should use it towards the congress um i have heard that you know like the congress you know we need windows for the tabernacle there are you know there are other um needs the congress has needs that have not been that are going you know unmet and so um they they do not see the wisdom in us collecting funds to do something that is beneficial to the community at the foot of the hill rather than the congress itself okay uh right and my response to that is that what we are proposing to do we have to see we have to look at the larger picture right right and we, right and the and the objective of our actions Right, we are seeking to we are seeking to do something that is noble and that is um, going to yield dividends for us in terms of the nature of the relationship between the people at the foot of the hill and once again the Congress at Ten Miles will be. Now, when when Dada was um, when Dada was around, right, we, there was a you know there was a relationship. So that we didn't find that people were coming there and they were disrespecting Congress members, they were violating and you know breaching our protocols and our principles. They were more respectful of the Congress and what we stood for. They knew who we were, what we were about, and we knew who they were. And there was a, there was some there was a sort of respect. However, we, as we as we have seen that that relationship has broken down, and once again. That is, we are seeking to repair that that broken relationship. We are seeking to get back to the place where they have a healthy amount of respect for us, a little, and they do not violate us in certain ways. True. Right? And by, by our good deeds, we hope to, to, you know, we hope to sort of change, them, change hearts and minds. And so that is the objective. So I want individuals to know that the wider objective of what we're seeking to do is really something quite, um, it it will yield benefit and dividends to the Congress. And it is noble. Furthermore, we have always touted ourselves as being poor people's government. We are the poor people's government. Well, those people at the foot of the hill are poor people. And so as their government, we are going to take steps to show them that we care about them exactly. and that um not just about their souls but also about their physical body mm. right and their, their their existence so to the extent that we can assist in any way and we believe that this is a good first step it would be a very good first step and that the fact that we are helping we are seeking to do this for the people at the foot of the hill it does not it does not absolve us of our responsibility towards the corporate because we do have a responsibility towards the Congress as Congress members. So it should not be taken, it should not be seen that this is in competition with the Congress. Because whatever the Congress needs, we can all we needs, we can always collect separately for that. Naturally. Right. So um moreover, I think it's high time that the woman freedom liberation league become more involved in community outreach we have been woefully deficient in that area 
we have not done well. We have not done well at all. Mm. And so we need. Um, I, I think this is an area that we need to. Um, we need to develop, and we need to. Uh, we need to strengthen. We need to. We need to implement. Um, uh, you know, forget about strengthening. We need to implement this. We need to become more involved in 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 issues such as child development, as education, child care. You know, um, providing um, you know assistance to empresses in need or empresses in distress. So I would like to see the league become more involved. And as I said, this is a, this is a very good first step. Um, do, do, yes, do, 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 do the item look to um, be more hands-on in, in, in this uh, initiative, not just um, from a financial um perspective but also as they i say um from a physical you know where you know the the, the you know the idea would probably you know go and meet and teach you know who right. have the, 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 the 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 proper skills are 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 professional um background in teaching and 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 dealing with child care um will 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 that be a part of um the, the well, initiative where the item go into the community and, and well and it is not sorry go on well we're, we're just launching and it is an ongoing discussion and so we will see what we are able to do you know from a financial standpoint because everything takes money mm -hmm. and so we want it to start off small we don't want we don't want to over promise and underperform so we would we would start off with this um as I said, the initiative sponsoring a school or however you know, however this thing goes, um, whichever way it plays out, start off with that and then see how we can gradually increase our involvement, particularly in that community, because it is right out, it is right at our, our, our doorstep. It is right at our doorstep. And so we want to get we want to become more engaged. We want more positive engagement mm. between ourselves and that community. Moreover, I find confirmation for our action in the fact that when Dada was alive, you know, he would he was very generous to the people in that community. They would come to the community, they would attend um, you know, with celebration and, and, and public service, so forth and so on. And I've also understand from others that Dada would you know would sometimes you know give food. To that community, Sister Esther has told me that. Chris Duffus has told me that 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 I used to, you know, extend kindness to the people there. Sometimes give money, food, um, and and whatever. So we can carry on that tradition. So we are, I believe, that our, our action is in line with the teachings of Dada and and his, and his act, well, his actions. So I do not believe that we are out of we are out of line, mm. or we are doing anything contrary. To what um to what the Congress stands for. Now, um, simultaneously, I want to address the issue of our duty to the foundation in general. We, as Bobo Shant, is living off the hill. We have a duty to support the EABIC Foundation at ten miles from the information. True, true, true. I totally agree. But hold on, hold, hold, but let let me ask you the question, Honorable Empress. Yes. Other than those there, it does addressing it like that. Please allow me to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, because the, the, the foundation seems to get um, overlooked more while, you know, when 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 um, when you look upon it, you know, it it, it, it it like things discontinued certain way. It doesn't get the support um, that it, it, it's supposed to get. Um, on an international level and you know it it's 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 more than just a local thing to jamaica you know it's it's a international thing it, are we fulfilling our duties as the 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 i um was alluding to a while ago absolutely not we are in breach we are in violation of our duties to the foundation and you know you and i speak you know we speak yeah you know often enough and you know that i have expressed this point of view to you 
that um you know we have a duty to support the eabic and 10 miles will be in jamaica mm -hmm. because this location remains our official headquarters where we receive international guests True. from all over the world it is where school groups scholars researchers documentarians filmmakers this is where they go when they want to learn more about Baba Shanti culture it is the address that is listed on our letterhead mm. therefore we have a duty to keep up the premises as well as to provide for the ones who are living on the hill because they are doing they are fulfilling a vital very vital part of the Baba Shanti culture they go they have rural call they have you 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 know they have psalms reading three times a day they keep the sabbath service going these are the people who are fighting the spiritual fight on a daily basis that empowers you and, and me right it empowers us to go out and do what we have to do so therefore we cannot neglect the, the soldiers fighting the spiritual war i am telling you it remains this is a, it remains a, a, a shame on Baba Shanti, that we are not supporting our Congress, that we are not supporting the people living on the foundation. We have a duty to provide for the well being and the welfare of the brethren and empresses living on the hill at 10 miles per day. I want to be on record as saying that this duty, and it is not contingent upon anything. Oh, I have spoken to the brethren about it. And they said to me, oh, but you're not behaving. The people on the hill are misbehaving. You're not living up to principle. Really? Really? Because a lot of us out here are not living up to principle. I think we still serve to eat. True. The, 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 right. So you're right. Your right to eat should not be contingent upon whether or not you are living up to principle. Why not? Mm. It, 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 right. It is good that you should perfect. live up to principle. And particularly if you're living on the foundation. Because they are there to defend the principle. Mm -hmm. We would like you to live up the principle. But sometimes people are discouraged and disheartened. When they are hungry. When they are sick and infirm. And there is no one to help them. People lose faith. Mm -hmm. And so, once again, let us start somewhere. You know, let us let us start somewhere. We are not going to wait for them to get holy and righteous. To our standard. Before we, before we are we feed them let us start feeding them and, and see if we, um, we don't get better results i believe we'll get better results whatever do whatever you you know duty you believe that you're shopping in because yeah no you have uh, you know you have these um you know call them monday, monday morning quarterback you know i mean they, they can tell you the game what should have happened and what this should have happened, happened, this not happening and all of that mm. but they are not there they're not dealing with the harsh the harsh realities of life on the foundation and so it's all it's all well and you know uh, uh you and know a, a separate distance away and impose your will mm. but we need to we it's the duty we have to the foundation is absolute and it is a crying shame if on the hill are going over on a daily basis a lot of the ones living on the foundation are even elderly and so they need more than ever they need proper they need nutrition uh, back in the day my lord yeah when we the elders who are elders now when we were living on the hill back in the 1970s 80s and 90s we were living for free but it doesn't mean the living was free somebody else was hustling and paying that and paying for us to live yeah the money that was earned from the broom and the mat making could not sustain couldn't do all of the things that needed to be done feed all of those virgin and empresses and children living on the foundation and then turn around again and it office work you understand mm -hmm. to buy ink for the typewriter to buy paper to send out all of the printing the, the printing sending people out on delegation all of this takes money mm -hmm. so we need to stop behaving like children like we don't know that it takes money to run a government all right it's good that you touched that important point there um government um and money seeing but does, 
the government, how, how, how important it is, I don't want to stray from the point, but I think it um, correlates with what um, the I is saying. Um, how important it is now, because then I, I, I would have think that we, we would have, have the government or the parliament in place operating as, as how it should be, does the government not functioning as how it should have any impact on what they are saying right now? Right. Admittedly, admittedly, mm -hmm. the government is not functioning, functioning the way it ought to function. But maybe it is not functioning because we are not supporting it. Maybe because we are not supporting it in the way we ought to. That is why it is not functioning. Once again, when we lived on the foundation, there were there were brethren like Prince Ikeel, Prince Diego, and others who were out there hustling and sending money to the Congress for the running and the operation of the Congress, including the government. Mm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So therefore, if we are not supporting the Congress, how can the government function in the way it ought to? Yes, yes, is is yeah because it's important to you know because is the as the I said earlier is us bubbish and to say we're poor people government so um, right. I and I who make up the congregation of the Congress um, should have that art because is 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 the congregation first is the government then in that sense is the people right you know right right so as I said we have people who are there holding up the order that sustains us out here to work they're doing their part we must do our part and if what you can contribute if you can't be there holding up the Sabbath order holding up the psalm reading you have to be you have to do something else which is provide financial support so that those things can get done Seamlessly. We, we need to stop being so naive. Where do people, you know, people, it takes money to live. We have elders on the foundation. They need porridge. They need soup. They should be assured of at least one solid, proper meal per day, nutritious meal. People who are sick should have an expectation that some amount of health is going to come their way. And I do not understand why it is, it is so elementary that I do not understand why it is such a hard, it's a hard point to make. It is our duty. It is in our creed. It is in our creed. Naked clothes, nourished, age protected and infant cared for. So we need to fulfill this promise. Otherwise, we are in violation of our creed we are in breach of our duty and let me say it a different way maybe in a more understandable way we what list we what list if we have people on the foundation going hungry we what list that is yeah that is the point i'm trying to make so at a minimum, we should be sending every one of us ten dollars a month. Ten dollars per month. That's all we're asking. If you have two hundred dollars twenty, send ten dollars a month. That is two thousand. I believe the, the Congress will be a bunch with that. You know, putting in that um, that income on a regular basis. Um, should should anyone apart from anything else? All right, I'm not trying to be pessimistic or anything, but um, asking question that I know other people would mm -hmm. probably um mm -hmm. ask, um and and uh, you know accountability then because you know that it, when you see when it comes to money, black people especially have this um trust issue. We don't trust ourselves, you know. We don't <laughs> love ourselves enough to trust ourselves, and then it it leads for me to ask this question now: um, 
where does the accountability comes into to all of all of this now because that i personally don't have a problem you know contributing you know to my you know to my government or congress you know 10 pounds a month you know to see it operate and run but other people when when them hear two thousand dollars sum up are you know people are gonna start query oh, 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 oh who are get the money oh the money i spent oh, you know you have them type of people you know so i'm just well, asking. We're, we're talking about, yes we're talking about two different things right so we're talking first and foremost our duty mm-hmm. to the congress Right. The se- the other issue now, which is an administrative issue, yeah. is how best to administer. Right. So the, so the duty to contribute to the Congress is separate and apart from, from the, the administration. administration. Yeah. You have a duty to contribute. So you know, if you're going to use now and say, well, you know, I'm not sure about the administration and how the money is going to be. No, no, no. Well, then, you're not send no money. Still, right. That mm. still does not absolve you of the duty. Right. We cannot allow the we, we can't allow the perfect to become the enemy of the good, right? We can't allow the possible difficulty in administering in administering the situation to cancel out our duty to support our Congress. Mm. Now, yeah, the second, the second thing now is all right. But if we have established that we have a duty to the Congress and we accept that, we want to ensure now that this money gets spent in a responsible manner so then we will set up the system by which you know put someone in charge of it two people three people five people however maybe, maybe three too many you know too many could spoil the right so you put three people in charge of it and say we, we listen to this. this is what and you know we're going to continue to collect the ten dollars a month from everyone but we will withhold the funds until we can get proper accounting You understand? Yes, I. So the duty to, to contribute is still there. But it is now up to us to put systems in place or a process in place by which this money will go to, you know, whomever and it will be handled in this way or in that way. Right? And we want we want accountability. You understand? I mean we don't want anyone squandering the money. But you know if it's the law's out. We waste ten dollars a month. We waste ten dollars a day. So quite frankly, if somebody even can off with a hundred dollars out of the two thousand dollars, and I'm not going to lose sleep over and discontinue my ten dollars a month um, obligation, right? People will use this as, as a reason, as an excuse to not fulfill their duty. And once again, we, I'm telling you, we have emissaries that we have sent out. We have ambassadors. We have Prince Paul. Prince Paul should not be in East Europe. And um, I'm not saying that we are going to provide for him on a monthly basis by sending you money. But he should be able to call the Congress and say, you know, this month things are tight on me. Or if there's this thing that I want to look about, and I need some funding from the Congress. If we are operating as an efficient government, as a true government, you can have your ambassador send them out and then you know <laughs> you, you just leave them you, you just leave them on their own without your support. True. Sometimes man them can't get moral support, mm. let alone financial support. Right? We have priest Azar down in Port Africa. We have priest Murdoch. We have people all over the place that might like to in. What kind of government send them to send them emissaries and um, uh, you know an ambassador and leave them stranded? Leave them to start to figure it out on their own. Once again, we want this. We give thanks. No, we have people like Sister Angie who never tires in assisting the Congress. In you know, seeing to it that food reach the Congress, in some, you know, in some way, shape, or form. But it should not be on her shoulders alone. I mean, we pray for her. We pray for her continued strength. We pray for her. You know, she's a she's a, she's a, she's a, she's a, she's a 
to use a football metaphor or to use a soccer metaphor, she is our striker. So we pray for her for strength. Strength. Because she is unwavering in her support of the Congress. And because of that, I'm sure God will continue to bless her. Her bread basket will never be empty. Because she has shown such a devotion and a loyalty to the Congress. It is unmatched. It is unmatched in scope and consciousness. And so, you know, we must pray for her. Yes, sir. But we need to start, we need to start operating like a government again, my love. And, and 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 the Congress needs our, they need our support. I am I, this this issue is of particular sensitivity to me because I I heard of how um I have heard of how um Jadan I think he's yeah priest Dan at the time but when I was on the foundation he was Jadan and I heard you know that he had diabetes. He had gotten sick. I saw him a few years ago. I was in Jamaica. And I stopped and I hit him. And he didn't recognize me at all. And I kept saying, Empress Marina, Empress Marina. And it's like, uh, and then I said, Priest God. And he goes, oh, he said, Empress God. And then, right, and we started talking. But at the time, he wasn't living on the foundation. Then I heard that he subsequently moved back to the foundation. And then he was quite sick. And then, but he died because he was not getting the kind of care that he needed for his condition, right? He died and so I said, you know, it's painful. It should never happen. It should never happen. Uh, we should be able to take better care of our elders. People who have given their, you know, so much of their lives. Soldiers, freedom fighters. And then in their last days, or when they, you know, they fall ill. They are not getting the kind of support that they need from the Congress. And I said, this must never happen again. This must never happen again. And so, you know, I, I, I give thanks for the, the Elders Council with respect to its mission to serve the Elders of the Congress. No, it is a, it is a responsibility that we all bear. Right? The responsibility doesn't fall on two people or five people. It's a responsibility that we all bear. But the formation of the Elders Council to carry out that duty, I don't see anything wrong with it. I do not see anything wrong with it. In fact, it's a good thing. It's a positive thing. It's a necessary thing. And so, um, in the past, I, I know that I have to go to the Elders Council and I know that the woman's legal to the Elders Council in that endeavor with respect to that aspect of its um its objective its duty now there are other things that elders council may be involved in that i am not familiar with and that i i don't necessarily endorse um such as its involvement with the rmo because the elders council i do not believe has any legal standing to represent the congress internationally because the Elders Council is not, is not an organization formed by Dada. It's not an entity, not a body. It is not a group formed by Dada. So I don't see how a group that was not formed by Dada can stop <laughs> the duties of the, the, the parliament and the committee. You understand? Mm -hmm. and at the, but at the same time, if the, if the parliament is not functioning, then what what should what should what should ones and ones do? Right? We have to urge the parliament to function to, to perform its duty. If the committee is not doing what it's supposed to do, we need to um yeah, we need to address it. I'm not sure that going off and forming a separate group to say I am going to you know, supplant the Congress, I mean the, the Parliament or the committee. That, that is, I cannot endorse that. But I do, as I said, recognize what the Elders Council does with respect to administering to the Elders on the Hill. Because it, it is needed. It is very much needed. Um, let, 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 uh, let me just say something. Because um, 
I, I know probably the um some of the version them who is a part of the RML um is probably some of the same version them that I've 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 uh, I've, I've heard um trying to you know organize um with members of 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 the of the parliament you know okay. trying trying to come together in the past i've i've i've, I've been on forum are are mm-hmm. reasoning where you know some of these same virgins who are in the the the, the elders council and probably are, as a representative um for for the rml I've, I've, you know, I've, I've sitting in reasoning with them, you know, trying to, you know, trying to organize, you know, trying to get the, 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 you know, the parliament to function, you know, and without, you know, no one coming together still, you know, so I don't know, you know, you have to do something or something will do you still, so. Absolutely, I guess, absolutely. I guess you know they just um you know utilizing and yeah <laughs> and utilizing what 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 they have still. You know, mm-hmm. yeah, you know I, I I wouldn't I wouldn't knock it so much you know or or even knock it at all. But I can understand that you know it's something that you doesn't you know you don't endorse based on what you outline still. You know it's not you know. Right, as I said, I appreciate it. Um, I, in its endeavor in terms of addressing and um, yes, you know, ministering to the elders in the, in the, of the Congress, mm. you know, and uh, and also you know having a forum where, well, I mean, I'm not going to say it's, it's, it's <laughs> I'm not going to say it's nonpartisan because it is not, it is not, but it is certainly less. Uh, I am well. <laughs> It is certainly less. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm trying to, you know, be careful here with my word. It, 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 yes, you know, it is not as um harsh. It is not as um. Yeah, you know, the, I hear the, yeah, the parliament reason can get really rough, and you have people, you know, in the on my line parliament who really have the, you know, you have. I'm not saying everyone there because I don't even know everyone who you know is um is in that group. But yeah, people who don't have any vision and they have, they have no right taking any leadership position because they're they're not unifiers. They're dividers. Mm. They 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 criticize everything and they do nothing. You understand me? Yeah. Those, those who can't those who can build will always march. <laughs> those who uh, cannot uh, build will always march. That's all they can do. I, I hear what they say. I didn't want there. I take the reasoning there, so still. But I think this is a very important question that I want to ask you. What's your 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 perspective on um, the twenty one days principle? Is it is it something of the past? Uh, is it still relevant um, today? Right. Well, it is. Well, I believe that it is relevant, and it is relevant for those living on the foundation. Right, you must. Those are the that's the principle of the Congress, and it must be adhered to. Now, when you're living outside of right, it is not very realistic. And once again, we have to live in the real world. People have to work because if you're not living on the foundation where you're being provided, your meals are being provided to you, then you can afford to live twenty-one day principle and so forth and so on. But when you're living outside and you need to work and provide for your family. That's a different story. Uh, you understand me? And I do not know. I don't know it was meant to be lived outside. Mm. You understand? I don't know when it was designed. It was designed that even more chances living um, off the foundation would have to adhere to this principle. Remember, we had a whole system set up, you know, with the minister in Angel and the parts that she could walk and the ministering box and the things that you understand me? There are people set up. Oh, it's principle that is so important. It is a pretty 
but it certainly serves its purpose on the foundation. Okay. And it remains a vital part of the of Bosnian culture. For 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 people now who do not understand what the eye is talking about, because probably only Bobo Shanti would understand what 21 days principle is. Could I break it down um, in, in layman's terms so, so one can understand what the eye is talking about? Because I totally understand what the eye is saying, but for, for ones who don't understand what the eye is talking about. Well, yes, my lord. So the, the emphasis on the foundation were required to go in house during their monthly time. Yeah. And then, you know, let us say that was seven days, and then for 14 days after that, right? They go to purification, they go, you know, you start to, re you know, re rejuvenate. <laughs> some some people would refer to it as a vacation. Mm -hmm. You know, the empress gone in on a vacation. You know, but that is um because um it's believed as uh, you know consistent with the teachings of the Bible that during that time a woman is unclean, and so because she's unclean, she she, she should not mingle with people who are clean, mm. right? And so and then she can pollute them by touching them, by seeing them, or by them hearing her voice. So you go into house during the start of your time, and then. Let us say that last seven days and then fourteen days subsequent to that, right? Where you're not seen or heard, right? And you 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 you, sort of, you raise a red flag to let ones and ones know that you're, you know, you're not clean. You're you're not yes, right? You're unclean, so they don't approach you, you know, or your gate or whatever. And you, as I said, you cannot be you cannot be heard, so you kind of have to knock. And it is the uh, duty of the minister and angel to take messages back and forth between you and whomever. And also to bring your food and to bring anything else that you need in house. Right? But they couldn't take anything out from you and deliver it to somebody else because that thing would also be unclean because you approached it. So you could, uh, you could send something someplace for a couple of days and get it free up. You understand me if you wanted it to go there. If you made a mistake of going in out with something, that you shouldn't have gone in with or to someone else. Mm. So, 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 yeah, so, is, what, what, what if you're all right? What if you're um, a family <laughs> or a young family right. then and you, you're <laughs> living with your king man and, and, and so on? What, how, how does it well, work? Well, it, well, there's no such thing as living with your king man on the foundation. Mm. Your king man lives where he lives and you will have your own quarters. Ideally, right? Um, you know, sometimes your empresses you find two empresses do it together, but if they're not on different, you know, if they're on different cycles, that doesn't work. Um, yes. So you live where you live, and you know, you have your house, and your king man, he, he lives where he lives, and when you're free, he could come to your house and you could turn all of that. Yes, so forth and so on. So yeah, and if you're a family, if you're, you know, the sons will stay out with the, with the father when the mother gone in, depending on the age of the child. Because mm. sometimes the sons come in with the mother. Right? Depends on the age of the child. So, and that is how it works. And I, you know, it had its purpose. I know I know some people, they, they balk at it, but I believe it was unnecessary. It was necessary. Um, I think it, um, it, it delayed a lot of, um, a lot of negative things, a lot of possible negative things, right? It gave, it gave us the, the, the Empress's time to, to rest and to relax and to rejuvenate. You understand me? And to get, you know, start to reflect. And it also, you know, you know built a bond among the Empresses. Um, I believe it built a strong bond. And the I yeah the bond is um remains unbroken. Does 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 it um create a atmosphere where you know today they are outside um what would I say contraceptive then are things to prevent 
um, a, a empress from getting um, impregnated. Does 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 the twenty one days principle does does it pose also as a contraceptive where if you're not looking um, to get pregnant at, you know in this time or your relationship or whatever does it does it does it pose that um it serves yeah i think it serves it's still like a contraceptive right based on um yeah the, the rhythm method yeah you know well abstinence listen the shortest way to avoid pregnancy is to abstain from intercourse right so it effectively did that perfect and, and by the time and by the time you were free again you know even if you were to engage with your, your, your team man your, your past ovulation you're not, you're not so the odds of getting pregnant are yeah are remote that 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 is that is the point that that i wanted to to hit there and there i <laughs> <they are> nail <laughs> it <laughs> yes i that's the far right um repatriation yes what what, what All right. do, how, how do you see it um because there's a lot of talk about repatriation but ones do not really speak about the reality of really moving um, back to africa you know the last time i was in ghana which was in august i sat with a, um a younger empress than myself she's a bubble shanty empress younger and she said to me empress marina why is no one telling you truth about repatriation and i looked at her and i waited for her to say more she said the truth about how difficult it is how expensive it is how challenging how sometimes frustrating and i say yes all of them are but you see nobody wants because the population is such a big part of our culture right nobody wants to be the bearer of bad news nobody wants to come and say listen the population takes time to plan takes a lot of planning you understand mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> It takes a lot of money, more money than you're going to realize. You're going to have to form a relationship, or so, uh, you know, with someone who is already partaking, somebody who is willing to give you their time, their knowledge, share, I mean, money. Somebody's going to have to be willing to do all of those things for you. You understand? So, because you are, you're in the West. And you want to get to um let's just say gone for the sake of argument but you need land somebody will have to run up and down and do it to look the land for you they must use they have to use their vehicle you understand mm -hmm. and, even, and even if you give them money to buy the petrol right gas for the vehicle you're not paying them for wear and tear on their vehicle and let me tell you ghana road them up. a lot of them are unpaid so you understand so the person has to take their time and they're going to be putting in their own money so it's not a small favor it's not a small favor so and right. so the, yes so like so it does it open up now um because you say money is important and you you, you need money to to buy and land and, and 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 all of these things no and to register the land and to even in terms of looking for the land that that is what even i was going to touch on just searching for the land mm -hmm. and let me tell you something land purchase in ghana is very very ticklish because you would buy land you would buy land and then you hear say the person who told you the land they didn't really own the land they didn't have the right to sell it so you find that you have to buy it again the same land that you bought already and paid for you have to buy it again because it's owned by not just two siblings but five siblings and the other three were unaware that you had sold it 
So there's a lot of that kind of um, chicanery going on. That kind of, uh, you know, and Nancy trickery. Mm. So you may, you, you may, you may lose a, a good amount. You listen, people can tell the story. But, but the, that... People can tell the story that money they have lost. And listen to me, and another sad reality that is not often addressed is the fact that our brothers and sisters on the continent do not always welcome us with open arms. They do not always see us in the same way we see them. They see us and they see opportunities. They see money. It's somebody that they can chop. Someone they can get money from. They can put all kind of trickery. You understand? And if we go there and listen to me, they've seen enough of us now and they're not impressed. I can tell you that. They're not altogether impressed because they're saying, we are coming from the United States of America. Some place where there are there would be the right arm to go. And you come with nothing? Because you're telling them, oh, my brother and sister, oh, I'm so long to see you. And they're like, you got money? Because, yeah, because what are you doing here? Have you, you, you understand? Even the government, the government themselves are getting fed up. Several, a few years ago, when they had the citizenship drive in Ghana, you know, another batch of people were, you know, going for their citizenship. The cost was, um, the cost for the administrative cost, we were asking $2,000. And people were complaining that they, they didn't have it. And they had asked for the seat, they asked the government if they could make it 1200 Them said no. Then they said 1500 I don't know. But they were they were disgusted. They were disgusted with us. I couldn't find two thousand dollars at the time was roughly a little bit less than two hundred US dollars. Mm -hmm. And so when we see the Ghani when we see the Ghanians then, because they don't once again, they are not where we are in terms of consciousness. They are not where we are. So they look now and they, they see the Lebanese and they see the Chinese coming and give money. And then we are here, and that one of the things they say about us, we're always begging, and we want things for free. We, want, we don't want to pay for things. Mm. You it, understand? Does, does we put that, down our low ball and the people put them look at us as worthless. But does, as no good. Does, does that come with um, with the, the, the understanding that we... It, does it come with the uh, entitlement type of um, meditation um, with with black people thinking that we're entitled because of our historical past, you know, and yeah. our connection? Yes, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure there's some of that. But but some people too are just freeloaders. Mm. Let's face it. Don't want to pay. That is what they said about us now. We don't want to pay for anything. We want everything free. The Lebanese pay, the Chinese pay, the white man pay, everybody else pay. But we don't want to pay. Once again, as I said, our brothers and sisters on the continent are not necessarily where we are. But, 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 in, terms of con in terms of consciousness. So they don't want to hear your sub story. They don't want to hear your sub story. Oh, I was taken away in slavery. And um, these are they changed my name. And they whipped me. And I, they, my language was lost, and I lost my name. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You got any money? They're, they're not interested in our, in our, in our sub story. Mm. Well, what, you know, how did you turn it around? Yeah, you understand? So we understand that all of this may have happened to you. But how did you turn it around? Mm. You know, when you're going to, when you're, you're applying for colleges in the United States, and I would imagine it. It's the same thing in England. You're asked to write a personal essay and you thought you're given a count of your life and you know what has brought you to this moment, to this time, and if you've been planning all your life, you always wanted to be an engineer or an architect or whatever. And the, the, you know, some of the, 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 the um, challenges that you faced along the way. But they're not interested in it. Yes, they hear the challenge. But the person who is making the admission decision. In the colleges right they want to hear how you overcame the obstacles with which you were 
Nobody wants to hear anybody wallowing in um oh, my, my yeah, my mother is, is on crack, my dad is serving time for double murder. They don't, they don't want to hear that. How did you overcome it? Mm. We want we, yeah, we want it's a win we want winners. We don't want victims. Yeah. And so this, this is the this is the, the, the position that a lot of the, the ones, you know, the our indigenous brothers and sisters, especially the government. This is a, this is the stance that they have taken. We, so what did you do? So all right, all of that happened to you. They don't they don't really understand it. They do not understand it because they're saying in fact when some of us were swearing in as citizens, they were saying, Why? Who would give up US citizenship for Ghanaian citizenship? And can we can we have your passport? Can we have your passport? Can you give us your US passport? Can you give us your UK passport? Because they're saying that we're gonna take it, we're gonna take those things and we're gonna make people do what we can do with it. And then some of us, we have, we have gone there and we have fallen on hard times. A lot of times we're not willing to say that. But you're bouncing from one person's house to another. Two weeks here, three weeks here, I'm going to somebody else. This, he needs to get some money. This, is just... And that is not how I envisioned Zion. That is not how I envisioned it. And so we need to make better plans. We Absolutely. need to make better. Yes, we're not. We're, we're not. Listen to me. Some other people have already grown disgusted with us. People have left their own light bill, water bill, rent. They have absconded because they cannot pay and they've been sacked. They've been evicted from where they were living. And they have never, you know, they, they have, you know, all the bills that they have amassed. You have had the driver who don't want to carry certain people because they know they're going to sleep them. It's just. It's not a good it's not a good look. It's not a good look. And so, you know, until we are able because you know, my mother in law one of her favorite things was were saying was that while the grass is growing, the horse is starving. You know? So you see, yes, yeah, they have not yet they have not yet been opened up to our reality and what we have had to endure in the West. They do not understand the depth of our oppression and suffering. Uh, and so they cannot, they cannot, they, they can't relate. Because even they themselves have been oppressed in their own land and they don't even realize it. You understand? And so, my lord, listen, no one should be pressured to repatriate. Mm. No one should feel pressured or rushed. You do it in your own time. If you are in the West, you do what you can. You do what you do in the West. You work, you save, you invest, you put money together. You take care of your children, and if your children are grown, you help your grandchildren because there's a role. Grandparents have a role to play in the life of their grandchildren. So if you're, if you're in the West, you do what you do. Bloom wherever you are. Bloom. Wherever you are, you don't have to be on the African continent to bloom. Because there are a lot of people there who are repatriated and they're not blooming. You understand? A lot of people, their situation is dire. But sometimes they're too ashamed just to let them know. Or they have they have burned all the bridges, um, you know, and have nowhere to return. They wait. So they have to hold their throne. You understand me? Well, you know, sometimes soldiering is good because it, it, it forces you to become more creative and more innovative. Mm. Or they just stay in they just stay in Africa and they keep calling the West for money. And then when you do that, it sends a wrong message because people are here saying, "No, we we will." You heard Muta Baruka said it in an interview that when he got to East Europe, he were asking for money. He said, "Wait." You know, me I come from hell, me I come from Babylon, and you are in heaven, you are in Zion, and you ask me for it? Hmm. Yeah. It's serious. So that's, that's, the par that's the paradox. Yeah. That's the paradox. So, wow. So, this thing here is, is as I said, it's complicated. And But you have a tendency of some people, 
to behave as though because they have a partridge and you have not. Mm -hmm. They're so much, they're somehow more conscious than you, mm -hmm. more righteous than you. You know, they're more serious than you are. And that, that is not necessarily the case. Righteous people are in the way and righteous people have a part to be in. True. Right? True. So it, it, it shouldn't become a competition. And yeah, some people like them are a which and not see. <laughs> you understand? That, yeah. Like them want to come pill. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, like uh, them want to come pill other people. You understand? Yeah. Uh, they want to come pill other people. And like, you know, I deal with nothing between a repatriate now. Really? Don't let anyone shame you, bully you, cajole you, or force you into repatriation. Right? So do what it takes. Repatriate what it's going to take. And then position yourself accordingly. Repatriation is personal and it should be done on one's own timetable. There is work to be done in the in Africa as well as in the diaspora. Work wherever you find yourself. Bloom wherever you are. If you're in the diaspora, take care of your children. Take care of your grandchildren. Work and earn money. Right? The best possibility for earning strong money is in the way. And however offensive that may seem to some people, because some people like to be to be in platitude and fantasy. Uh, but the okay. reality is this, the money is here so uh, and I'm going, I'm going to tell you yeah go ahead my lord uh, may I say that? Do, do, do you think that um the, the bible itself have any sort of impact um or effect i know seen in in some sort of way where um having financial security and stability as a rasta seems like um you know it's class like it's a babylon thing you know something i'm giving a talk tomorrow about um, that the, the importance of economics to the liberation struggle nothing gets done without money you can't even go, go have a zoom meeting if you don't have credit on your phone mm -hmm. if you're in ghana and you don't have you don't have money to buy credit on your phone i can't join the zoom meeting i have no money we need to stop playing we need to stop being like being like infants mm money <laughs> nothing gets done without money every it money it everything takes money and you, but your chances of earning money are greater here you need the seed money here earn the seed money here and then you can take it to africa and multiply it mm -hmm. but you need the seed money i see talent in ghana i see talent in different parts of africa and they do not have the funding they don't have the financing my, one of my sons has a very good friend in Ghana, and that young man is so he's so innovative. He is such a hard, he's so ambitious, he's so hardworking, but he's stymied. He is stymied by the fact that he does not have access to funding. Don't you ever think you can go to Ghana and get a loan, a loan to start your business, a loan to expand an existing business? The interest rate is like 35%. You understand me? Not even maf not even the mafia not charge that mm -mm. in America. You understand? Mm -mm. So you're not first of all you're not it's it's healthy to get a loan and if it can't get one, you can get it at an exorbitant interest rate. Wow. So and this so this you know, this kid that I said my son, one of my son's friends, he wants to come to the West because he has the gone as far as he can go in Ghana. And um, but he's unable to get to get funding to go any further. So he's trying to come to the West where he can earn money so he can go back and be, you know increase his business in Ghana. So what I'm saying to one by one here, work and save your money here. And then take that money to Africa and turn it over. Do 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 great things, do noble things. I want to I want to be a little creature. You know, up in the mountains, and I'm gonna. I have to earn the money here. Who's gonna give me the money if I don't work and save that money? Put that money aside. Who's gonna give me the money to do that? You understand? And you don't take. Listen, people have tried to shame me, saying that I am here in the West. Me, I run down money. I'm a part rich. 
Run down money? Really? Wow. Can you imagine that? But you know, some of those comments, they are motivated by bad mind and, and, and you know, bad mind and jealousy. True. So you just you dismiss them because, yeah, because they're not, these are not serious people. These are not serious people. The more people have, the more people in our community with money, the better it is for all of us. A rising tide lift, a rising tide lift all boats. It's true. A rising tide lifts all boats. So I, I want Sister Angie to have more money. I want Sister Esther to have more money. I want you to have more money. I want me to have more money mm -hmm. because it's going to lift everybody up. It's going not it's not just gonna benefit our immediate family. You you want people because you, you want the money in the hand of the people with mindset who is going to ensure that they help their community. Yes. You understand? Absolutely. And your best chance of earning money, your chance of earning money is better in England than in Ghana. Mm -hmm. So you're earning English money and you put it to Ghana and you multiply it. And you start your business and you employ people and you do good you send you do you know many children are cooking food where did the money come from yeah, man. so when people talk about your inner little running down money it's because okay it is a bad man mostly partly because i'm bad man um uh, you know i'm kind of happy that we reach the point where we're reaching this um reasoning because when we, we when we begin um the reasoning we were talking about um our duties and 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 what we need to do as as congress members and we are feeling and even breaching you know that we're not looking after you know ourselves and our elders and yeah. and and, and yeah. most of this was we were talking about monetary support you know financial support so mm -hmm. you know we we you know where would we get this money from you know so we need the money the money is important very important absolutely you know very Ab important absolutely you know i i let me if you will allow me um i remember the honorable priest campbell told me a story he said well he gave me an account he said that something had you know while he was living on the foundation and something had come up and that it that i called a meeting with the brethren and brethren and you know they're sitting around and saying this is happening this is happening and we need money to do this and we need money to do that right and when the meeting was over that i said every man into the room field every man to the broom field and then his camera said as he got up he one of the last brethren to get up and as he was as he got up and was walking out they had to call him back and <laughs> and that i whispered in his that I, he, he, he bent down and that i whispered to him and said my lord that he preached camera was going to go to get a man on the broom field and that I said to him, my Lord, when me a money can't do it. <laughs> That's what that I said to him. Jamaica, in other words, stop paying. Jamaica money can't do it. So preach on the understood. What that I meant. Get on the phone and start calling me. We need some US and some English people. Yeah, that's, yeah. We need some strong. We need strong money here. Yeah. He said, Jamaica money can't do it. In other words, that I said, stop paying. Let's stop, let's stop behaving like we don't know do what time it is. And so that's why when I hear people talk, I'm saying, do these people know what it takes to put children through school, to build well, be a community, mm -hmm. to road we, where we live, where we come to reside in Ghana. It's a dirt road. We drive on, you know, to get to our, after we come off the main road. We have a bit of dirt with it. And it's weird to fix that. Because nobody else. Nobody else has the money to put to do it. The school next to us has all the time to donation. Them roof leaking. We are we are we're very active members in our community. Where do you think the money comes from? 
This is what the people at the name, this is what they're looking for. We have a well in our yard. The, our next door neighbor can come a morning time, four o'clock before we wake up in the people at the well, drawing water. Somebody has to pay to build that to build to, to dig that well. Or a pipe. To come to our pipe to get water. So that is the kind of beacon that we are in our community. And it's and it's not true it's not true. It's not the dual. You understand? Yeah man. You gotta work. You have to work. So I do not un I do not understand the mentality because Jamaicans are not known as slackers. No. We were never known as slackers. When Jamaicans started to come to the United States in the sixties and seventies, they labeled us Jamaicans. Jamaicans because they will work hard like the Jews. So I don't know, you know, no, I understand that, you know, as the far end, you know, we, we kind of have a love hate relationship with money because we recognize that the system is lopsided and oppressive. And so our our aim was to withdraw from the system. But we have to disengage in a responsibility. We can't behave like like we don't have any sense. Bone this, bone that, bone the bone everything and you don't build anything. Mm. You have to bone and build. You understand? Build the alter build, build the alternate. Build the alternative. To what you're burning. But you can't burn and then you see on one side. I have nothing. And so we need to be we need to be more mature and be more thoughtful in our approach because we have not in fact disengaged from the system we're very much a part of the system we simply engage at a very low level the lowest level right we sell trinkets and we sell this and we sell that and some palm made for a year and some this and right but we need we need to you know step up a notch we need to step it up we need to be we need to those of us in a position to earn must do so for the benefit not just for ourselves and our family but for the benefit of our community once again you do not take what you start you don't take what you start out of the game you don't take your strike out of the game true you don't take yeah you have to pin your strike off mm. you need goals to win games yes and so once again, as I said, you know, I have come under attack for this position. I have come under attack. Serious attack. People have tried to mar my name and my character to represent me as being the very opposite of who I am. I'm not talking about materialistic things. But listen to me, my lord. Prophet I just stars. My, my children can tell you. My my children can tell you. It's the hardest thing to get me to spend a hundred dollars on myself. They always say that. But if mommy, if somebody call you from Africa, if somebody call you from Jamaica, if someone call you from the and ask you for money, you can that you find the money. So I am not a person who go yeah. after material things like John. Yeah. I don't I don't wear designer clothes. I don't wear designer shoes. I don't wear designer anything. I'm not a materialistic person that way. I got a scar from one of my clients after I won a case. And the, the client gave me a scar. And do you know that it's my, that scar put on one side? One day my daughter said to me, Mom, that's an like $850 scar. Are you not even using it? That's even wearing it? Yeah, I said, listen, that is lost on me because I didn't know the, I didn't know I did not know the price of the star the scarf. Because I don't live in that world. Mm -hmm. I don't know it, I don't know the design and names and, and the cost of them product. I don't know because I don't I don't subscribe to that. I don't support that. Uh, so, some 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 things are just vile. Mm -hmm. You understand? I have I have friends who buy pocket for two thousand three hundred dollar. To me that's vile. You understand? Brutal. 
Yeah, man. It's, it's up to you. Yeah, man. Oh, black that? people? And black, yeah. and black people don't have clean water? Girl, I'm say. That's hmm? what take place, black? you know. Girl, I'm say. Well, we say, I just said black people don't have clean water, and that is what we see happening in, in um, Ghana right now due to illegal right. mining. And to, and, to, and, to, and to Africa. Right. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I don't have time for the people who are trying to, as I said, malign me and to represent my message and to, to actually distort it. Mm. To distort it to mean something else like I am telling people to go after material possession. I am saying our community, our people, our race needs help. We need financial and those of us support. In the position, yes, and those of us in the position to work and to earn should use that opportunity for the benefit of our community. That totally. is a simple, simple message that I'm sending. But you know, COVID, I just started. I was in Ghana, as I said, um, in August. And thank God, you have upright people still in the Congress. You have two scholars. A virgin look at me. Unsolicited, you know. He said, he, he looked at me and he said, Empress Marina, them can't tell me nothing about you. He said, I know how Dada regarded you. And I know how Dada treated you. And I know how you deal with I and I when you come here. So them can't tell me anything about you. Them say after you don't build them up, they might look to tear you down. Mm -mm. Tears came to my eyes. A tears came to my eyes. Because I somebody said, Well, good people still exist in the Congress. Truth tellers are still here. People who know. So, but you know, when you're, when you're innovative, when you take the lead. Because we go through hell when we when it was just time for me to go to law school, and we go through hell, you know. A whole lot of things and arrows. The same thing happened again when we bought a house. When my when when my kingman and I bought a house up in um up in the Bronx in nineteen eighty four. He was the first roster to buy a house up to Bronx, New York. And don't ask if we weren't the the, the mansion. The mad, the mad capitalist, the mad, this, the mad investor, the, the, the Babylon system, huh? So we, we are accustomed. We are accustomed to yeah, you know. When you listen to me, great deeds, great deeds come at great cost, and no one has ever made a difference by being like everyone else. <laughs> you gotta be a pioneer. Yeah, man. Pioneer. You, have, you have to take the lead. Yeah, you gotta take the lead True. and do what you see is right, what needs to be done. And I believe that in staying to, to Rastafari culture, we need to reconsider our relationship with, with money, with economics, mm -hmm. because we're suffering because of it. We're suffering because of the lack of money. Children have been abused on the foundation because their parents didn't have money to provide for them, or they, you know. And they were forced to, they could, they could easily be lured in by those who, by some nefarious character, nefarious mm -hmm. characters who had access to food and could lure them in with food. Do you understand? So the lack of money, is, you know, it has caused great pain and, 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 and distress to black people. For real. You understand? So yeah, we need to rethink our relationship with money, my lord. And that is what I'm saying. So if, if ever my you hear my message out there and anyone tries to distort it, say I am encouraging people to sort of like you know, build up the Babylon system and to gain as much financial and material possession as it can, that is not the message. That is not the message. Yeah. I think we can do more to help our community. Yeah. And if you're in a position where you can earn, you have the ability to earn, you have the skill that allows you to earn, then by all means earn. 
so that we can pull our resources. Some of us can pull our resources and do something big for the benefit of our community. My Lord, blessed love. <laughs> blessed love. Um, do you get the, the, the sense that in, in our community there is an element of <laughs> lack of um, self-love? You know, for for ourselves, you know, as not uh, not just as Rastafari people, but as you know, Black African people in general. Oh, for sure, for sure. We were taught to hate ourselves. We were taught to you know hate ourselves and each other. Look at how hard we go after each other. Mm. Look at how hard we try to destroy. Yeah, yeah. Some people sit around, you know, my God, and hope for something bad happen in your life. You know? True. And then get great, then get great satisfaction from that. It's true. But those are unhappy people. We understand that because happy people, happy people don't behave that way. Happy people don't try to bully other people. Happy people don't try to wish ill on other people. Happy people don't go and spread rumors about other people. Happy people don't try to destroy other people's relationships. You know, there's a daughter in Ghana who was reported to Ghana, and I remember when she, when she said to me. She said to me, Empress and Sister Marina, there are people who are going to be very shocked to know that me and the Kingman repatriate together, given the challenges and the problems we have had in our relationship over the years and even our period of separation and so forth and so on. There are people who are going to be very shocked and they say, Well, I said to her, ignore them. Because who, who would not be happy if a family that was fractured? Has, has decided to, re, um, to reconcile and reunite. Who could be against that? Satan. Only Satan could be against that. Sure. So you know the war of Jonathan me? Yes, sir. Yeah, you have people wicked. You have people wicked just sit around and wish ill on other people, other people's children, mm -hmm. other people's marriage, other yeah, people's them. relationship. Yeah, tell them. Yes. Because, them, because they're unhappy. Them go around and find that them and propaganda and them put in me, they might have meetings. <laughs> Listen, they have meeting over my name. <laughs> wow. <laughs> they're planning how them can, they're going to lose the law license, they're going to do this, they're going to do that to me. And you know, I say, wow. Where mm -mm. unhappy people exist? Where unhappy people exist? Unhappy people exist, but you know, who oh, God bless no man curse. True. Them, them. See, right now. Yeah. Who oh, God bless no man curse. No man curse. <laughs> Reality. When we try and try and we'll come to naught. It will come to naught. There's a narrative so, where them say hurt people, hurt people. Is it, absolutely. Is it, yeah. When you are in pain, when you are in unhappy, you know that? Mm -hmm. And people, they may project confidence. They may, you know, a lot of people they will project confidence, but they're not. They, they can't. They couldn't be confident. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. They're hurting. That's why if they go around and bully people, bully and want to show you how much power they have and how much reach. Yeah, you understand how far them can reach and how them can tarnish your name and turn people against you. You understand? Mm -hmm. they, they get pride and pleasure in that. But you have to just ignore it. You do what you do. Just do what you do. Do what you know is to be done. And I said, I have been through this before. We're going to law school. I have been through this before when we bought our house up in the, the northeast block back in the early 80s. We have, um, yeah, my family and I, yeah, we have been through it because we are, we are pioneers. We're innovators. We are not crackers. We don't sit around. We do. We do. We get stuff done. We get stuff done. We don't just talk. So I would realize that it's not hard to take money to get things done. And we hustle. So yeah, you're always going to attract um those as I said, those who can't build must mash. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Those who can't build must mash. Yes, I a reality. Um, the, 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 I have one more question for the I, the, the I uh, mentioned um, 
the 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 sister that repatriated with her with her kingman and um and you know people would be surprised that you know it's it's her and her kingman um talk to me a little bit about the importance of a family how, how important you know the family structure is um for black people african people extremely important for any people mm. you cannot have a strong people a strong nation a strong race without the, without the families the families are the building block so we must take responsibility as parents we must be good parents we must be good grandparents we must be good spouses we must be good sisters and brothers to each other that is necessary and this is how the white man keeps us in. this is how they keep destroying us or that because we, do, we don't unify we don't we, we you know we, in, we don't invest in our families and we need some of the brethren to come forward and talk about the, the, the mistakes that they have made over you know over the years and how it has damaged not just their not just their children or their their wives but you have to talk about how your bad behavior and i'm putting my husband at the forefront of that Apologize to to how your actions may have hurt other people, may have retarded the growth and the development of the black race, because we fail to understand the connection between the micro and the macro. Every, the actions that we take on a daily basis impact the entire the future of the black race. So if I get up and I abandon my children at the age of eight, they're, they're eight years old and ten years old and fifteen years old and i get up and i abandon them i have damaged it. not just my children not just the rastafari community the entire black race has been harmed by my, my, my actions and i must take responsibility for that i must own that mm -hmm. you understand and any attempt to behave as though to, to, to walk down or to diminish you're not honest you're not a pan-africanist a freedom fighter this thing calls a sacrifice serious sacrifice you understand and the sacrifice in all different kinds of ways you understand and you can't run and get right you know true you cannot run and get right no matter what you may try you can't hide from the city of you cannot run and get right a bubble shanty you know yeah you can't run and get right no matter how you want to spin it and you can't bring your spin doctors and your and your friend your friend them who will back you know all your wrong doing you can't run and get right that's yeah, a reality the family is critically important critically important my lord we have to take care of our children. I totally agree with the eye with that. Yeah. <laughs> totally agree. The the family structure is important. Um critically you know, important. It, it, and we have people among us. We have people among us who are exemplary in that regard. The honorable priest Headley. We have priest Kailash. We have priest Knuckles. You understand? Mm -hmm. we have we have examples of men who did who do it right as best as best as possible priest nappy you understand priest, priest lee craft great craft so we have examples good examples among us and we need to learn from them we have ras ivy from the naya bingi house We have ones that we can look to. And we need to learn from them. We do not honor one another. We don't give one another credit. We have heroes among us. And we do not give one another sufficient credit. Because we're too busy hating on one another. Mm. We're too busy hating and being jealous and bad mind. 
sad. It, it's so it's so sad. Yes, extremely sad. It, it's heartbreaking. Yeah, it breaks your heart because even people you think had that who would know better, people you think who would know better, and when you turn around and you look, and you see these people them engaged in hard sort of bad sort of just nastiness. I mean, just bitter, and bad mind, and envious, and they just. You know, try to turn other people against you. I'm mean, trying to turn people, you know, against one another. Don't speak to this one, don't speak to that one. Oh, I'm against you because you're talking, you're talking to them down in Florida and you're this one. And you're like, gee whiz, how are we to get anywhere? I would like to see, I would like to see a coming together of the ones, I'm telling you, the online parliament and the elders council because i'm telling you they're creating a division a rift in the congress I'm like they're trying to pull people in one this, this direction and this direction yeah you, know, you know can't speak to the people of the, 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 the council you can't speak to the one there. i mean it is just what do we hope to accomplish by this you're going to miss a priest and priest can get together and, and, and sort it out then how once again how are we the vanguard or are we black people government people government when we can't even, <laughs> can't even organize it. we can't get along we can't get along and sometimes it will almost seem like people hit and one another hit Mm-mm. not just have a disagreement you know with someone oh you know i see this differently i don't agree with that approach I think that this person is um I don't think that, that teaching is in line with um the teachings of Prince Emmanuel or the Congress or whatever. You be like the person is a wicked <laughs> if they never open up their mind to say something else or I mean when I say more information, more knowledge, Dada evolved over his life. Priest Campbell again tell me when Dada said him and said, Listen, my lord, go look at the passport. Cause you know me think so we already gone already. <laughs> me think for the back side and that already. Go look about my passport. You understand? So that, so that, that was... Yeah. That... He was progressive. Sorry, go on. Yeah, he was not a fanatic. Mm. Like some people. Let them want for out that and that. He was actually yeah, hoping so. that he, 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 he would see it happen within right. his time. In, after, his lifetime. in his in his Yeah, in his lifetime. Yeah. Mm. Yes, that's you understand? Right. Yeah. Yeah, and let me tell you something. There is work to be done when we're repatriated. Lots of work. Mm-hmm. That's where the work begins. Mm-hmm. That's true, man. Tell it. Let me see it. You have been to Africa several yeah. times. The work, the work we done, lots and lots of it. And I, I hear man and man now talking. Imagine they haven't even reached Ghana yet, or Ethiopia, or anywhere. And they're already saying who they're not going to deal with when they go to Africa, when they go to Ghana, who they're not going to talk to, who can't come under them heart. Mm-hmm. Really? First of all, you, have to, you, you better reach. You have to reach first. You understand? You haven't even read. And you talk already who you like talk to you not this time who can't come on their heart. You you're going to take a long time to get an art. Hmm. Yeah, you're gonna have a call and you better take time. Yeah. Is, yeah. You know, the, the reality of Africa is there, you know. Well, um <laughs> waiting for it's everyone. A leak. <laughs> it's a leak, people. Each have all leaked them. Yeah. Yeah, that's all. Them think they, they listen. You think you can't go Africa and live like your um <laughs> you know man is an you need people. Yeah, you need people. All people you don't like, me have to come to your rescue. True. Yeah, people who you bad mouth and talk all kind of they may have to come to your rescue. Mm-hmm. You understand? Absolutely. So, yeah, them talking already and them don't reach anywhere yet. It's pure division and the, the deceiveness them going with. 
So they may never reach. Yeah, that's a situation. <laughs> that's a situation. But um and I'm very impressed. It's good to, to have the eye on the program and um this back to school initiative um by the freedom freedom Woman's woman freedom, freedom liberation Woman. league league yes my lord yes um yeah give thanks and 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 if the eye can give out any form of um contact or uh, right the thing is that we were the, the, the money was being collected um uh, we, we you know through priest nappy mm. um the account that he has in florida um but i'm going to say what we're going to do at this point any we're not going to collect any more for this initiative per se so okay. anything else can be directed to to the woman's league okay woman's league in general right and um right and as i said i would like to see i really i'm you know putting out the call and asking and beseeching i and i to really let us live up to our responsibility and I know that, you know, we all give to one and to we brethren now with children one away this you know, privately. But that still does not absolve us of our responsibility to the Congress in, in the proper the Congress proper. So we can give to our sister and we can give to our brethren and we can give to this one and we can give to that one. But we still an obligation and loyalty to the Congress at the Malibu. We need to keep that is our that is that remains our headquarters. True. Right? And so we must take care of it and we must take care of the ones who live on the foundation, who is taking care of the ground and taking care of everything else. And keep the Congress going. Totally agree. It is it, it is our solemn duty. Totally. It is, and it is not contingent, it is not contingent upon anything else. It but the fact that we are Shanti and we need to do it. We have, every government needs revenue in order to operate and function. Mm -hmm. The our ten dollars a month due is rev is the revenue. Yes, I yes, and I Empress. And um give thanks. Yeah, I guess um mm -hmm one should start to act upon you know such duties you know going forward yes yes, yes my lord I, I i i thank you very much for the opportunity to um to come on this program and to discuss the subjects that we have discussed and in particular to sort of to broadcast the um the initiative the back to school initiative mm -hmm. the women's freedom liberation league has undertaken or is undertaking so i thank you for the opportunity um for doing that always my pleasure honorable empress always my pleasure give thanks give thanks yes, for, for you know for taking the time also and and making it possible yes my lord, yes, my lord. Blessed love. Yes, I. Peace and Mag love. And Mag manners and respect. Magic. Every time. Magic. Blessed. Blessed. All right. Blessed love. Yes, honorable family. Yes, honorable Empress Marina from the Ethiopia Africa Black International Congress, the Woman Freedom Liberation League. And um, we give thanks for having her today that, um, you know, she could, you know, reason on the back to school initiative that is um, being, you know, done by herself and other um, empresses of the, you know, the league itself. So give thanks for the item, patient listening and rack of attention and um, please leave your comments in the comment section let we know your views and thoughts and what's been said here i know we um went across a lot of um other topics and and subject separate and apart from um, um the back to school initiative so please leave your thoughts in the comment section reason with us there 
I know it's a very long video, but um, it's a lot of food for the item. And I um, want to thank the Honorable Empress again for taking the time. You know, it's truly an honor and a pleasure. So, manners and respect, my blood, brothers and sisters. Um, you know, give thanks again for the item, patient listening and rack of attention also. See? Yeah, man. Give thanks and um, more love and strength until uh, we meet again at Nigo's feet. All right? Rastafari. Time to rise. Time to open up your third eye. Full time you start to realize that all this time they've been telling us one bag of lies. Telling us a God in the sky that for you and I he die. Jenko Jesus or oh me or mile. These things they taught us from we were a child. False indoctrinating the innocent minds. Mind control is the signs of the time. Android, cyborg, AI, all these things combined. All these things combined might sound like a rhyme. But the evidence reality is right before your eyes. Under no disguise. The age of Aquarius is the shifting of the time. Sun, moon, stars, the planet in the cosmos align. As the cosmos align, low vibration frequency decline. You strengthen your mind. Access to knowledge information from the Almighty Creator Divine. Creator Divine. The time arise. I feel with time for rise. The time appointed. Because I am anointed. The time arise. I feel with time for rise. The time appointed. Because I am anointed. Subscribe button. See the video. I guess not. The Smash that subscribe button. See you on the next video. I guess not. The mindset. Smash that subscribe button. See you on the next video. I guess not. The mindset.